Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with another folio and I'm just straightening my camera out so hopefully you can see a bit better. Um, I recently did the Victorian kind of um, inspired folio where I used some of my ready-made pieces to fill the folio, which I hadn't really ever done before. And I did say that I would come back and kind of do something similar with you guys, um, you know, and pick out the bits together. So I thought that I would quite like to do a blue, you know, blue themed um, folio. So I've dug out um, a whole bunch of ready-made blue themed things um, to be able to sort of select from. And then what I've done, I've made my base of my folio up already. Um, so, I mean, again, if you want to see anything like this, I mean, obviously I have made a ton of folios, you know, on film before. Um, but the problem is every time I make a folio, they turn out generally different to the last one. So there's no kind of, um, you know, like standard formula to doing it. They just, they're all just different. Um, but yeah, so I've put this one together and I thought that we could just come along and, you know, decorate this one together using some of those blue themed bits and pieces. So my folio kind of opens out in this kind of like triple way, but actually with more than triple, if you see what I mean. Um, so yeah, I mean, it kind of opens out, you know, basically it's a kind of trifold. Um, but then you've got, you know, various different layers, I guess, within that trifold. So I will probably start with this section here, which, you know, is what I would kind of term like the main, like centerpiece, if you like. Um, you know, just filling it with some bits and pieces. Now, when I've made folios in the past, you know, previously, I think I am right in saying this. I mean, obviously, because I don't really have a formula, it's hard to remember what I've actually done every single time. But I think I'm kind of right in saying, you know, when I've made them generally, I kind of build on what's here, if you see what I mean. So I would glue down, you know, pockets and what have you and build on from here. Um, with that Victorian kind of themed one, I pulled in my ready-made pieces and built from there if that makes sense. So, you know, what I thought we'd do is just kind of, yeah, pull in some bits and bobs that I've got here and just see if we can make something, you know, really pretty and sort of come together. Now, I mean, I struggle quite often with actually kind of obviously, you know, mixing in different things. So, I mean, if they're not from a kit that's all matching, you know, I would say that's a struggle for me to actually then use things because I feel like they don't then really go together very well. Sorry, this is just stuck together. Um, but I want to try and overcome that. And, you know, I'm really kind of working on that this year. And, you know, I think kind of gradually I'm getting better at kind of mixing and matching things. So I thought let's just pull in a bunch of things that have been pre-made Obviously, you know, they are all different themes and what have you. So, I mean, they really don't go together, um, you know, in the conventional sense, as I would kind of describe going together. Um, but hopefully they will, you know, tone together when used, you know, within kind of a journal or something. So let's move those to one side. I've just kind of, I'm not saying narrowed it down because mm, there still seems a lot of pieces here. Um, but I've just kind of at least, you know, got slightly less pieces now spread all over the desk. So the only thing is with doing these types of things, obviously the folio is so huge, it's quite hard to actually fit it all in. So I'm going to move it over so we haven't got this flap kind of visible, just so that hopefully this section is kind of fully visible, if that makes sense. So obviously this is a flap and I probably won't stick like a ready-made piece on there because this is just kind of envelope thickness. It's going to be a pocket, but it is just envelope thickness. So I feel like to stick something on that's quite heavy, mm, it may kind of be a bit of a weak point. So yeah, probably won't put anything on there. So I'm going to focus on this section here and this section here. So obviously this one has got these kind of envelopes over the side or over the, the other side. Um, so at the moment I've got these envelope flaps, which for me, you know, I probably want to cover those up. Just going to, yeah, kind of move this so it's tucked under and not going to kind of keep dropping down. Okay, right, let's have a look and see what we've got. So we've got a whole different sort of um, array of pockets and things here. 
so it's hard to even remember what some of them are actually so uh yeah let's kind of lay them out and i'm just going to kind of lay them out first of all with you know possibilities of just you know possible kind of layouts and then of course you know i will probably probably change them completely but this as a first you know initial kind of um oh what do we think sort of method so I mean, I don't think that's wide enough. It might be just about wide enough. No, I don't. I don't think it is. I was going to say to take all of that. I mean, that is to me quite ooh, cluttery. Um, you know, doesn't kind of quite really, really match in. But like I say, I'm really trying to, really trying to stop doing that so much. You know, kind of putting things together that I feel have to be together because they match. I'm trying to be much more eclectic in my choices. So let's have a look. I mean, we've got that pocket there. Um, let's just see. I'd have to have something quite narrow. Maybe that would go okay. Yeah, so that would kind of come out here. And then this could be beside it. So that's not too bad, is it? And then I'm thinking possibly these two, or I may have to swap them. Maybe, maybe more like that. So, I mean, that could be my initial kind of, you know, stab at this, really. So, like I say, I mean, you know, this is kind of trial and error, really. But, yeah, I just want to now cover up some of that background so that we've got some other things going on in the background rather than just, um, you know, like these grids, I suppose. Um, but also so that we make it look a bit more cohesive. Oh, and, um, you know, of course, covering up those envelope flaps. So I've got some paper here, which has been just torn down already. And it's quite neutral paper. So, I mean, hopefully it's not going to kind of dominate or, you know, do anything else, kind of, you know, adding anything else into the mix that, heaven forbid, I feel like, feel like we're kind of quite, um, you know, quite cluttery anyway. Cluttery? Well, not matchy anyway. Um, so yeah, I probably don't really want to have too much else in the way of colours and things like that on this section. But you know, who knows, we might kind of decide to have more things, you know, more colours on other sections. So again, I don't read music, so I do apologise. This is possibly upside down now, but oh no, because I can see a letter there. That's okay. Um, you know, because yeah, it's always a bit tricky, isn't it? If you don't read music, you don't know whether you're putting it up the right way or not, to be honest. Right, so yeah, I'm just using up some of the little bits and pieces that I actually bought in for this project. Just to kind of tone down the background a little bit. And then I will probably put some other things in the background as well. Um, maybe like some little labels and things like that. So let's just see. Oh, I have got these as well, but yeah, they may be that we're going a little bit too blue on here. Um, but you know, never know. So let's just kind of, oh, that's quite nice actually with just that sort of hint of blue. The only thing is this is an envelope, so it's going to open. But having said that, I will probably put like a postcard or something there. So let's get glue in a couple of bits down in the first instance. So, oh, please excuse my glue. I've just that second topped it up. So now it's, it does this thing a bit like a sort of volcano when it first gets topped up where it likes to just keep on seeping out and oozing out. So, uh, yeah. Please excuse the messy glue. Oh, and please excuse my messy wipe. I do have another clean one um, with me, which I will probably switch over to in a minute. But I'm just going to get started with this one because I have just grabbed this one. Okay. So we're just, yeah, going about covering up and kind of building up our our base here so I mean like I say this is kind of a different style folio for me because you know ordinarily I wouldn't really be kind of gluing the bits on in this way if you see what I mean I would be you know building onto the page itself so yeah this is a, a trial and error for me 
Um, but I mean, hopefully it's going to turn out nice. We, you know, we don't know until we try these things, do we? So yeah, right. So I'm thinking, obviously this is going to be a crease or it is a crease. Um, so I just need to be mindful of that. And I'm just going to check whether I might prefer it down here and this over here. Main reason is because I may have to reinforce that crease with like some lace or something. But I mean, also we might, actually decide that we prefer this here anyway mm. what do we think what do we think to that or well, we could have this moved down a bit i guess so let's just yeah pop that down maybe have it moved over slightly so I feel like I need to fill that bit in there. Now I've also got some vintage newspaper with me. But again, you know, it's a nice neutral colour and I'm hoping it's going to be a brilliant filler also in here. So let me try this like sideways on over here. sure about that actually it does need that splash of blue though funnily enough because when you move it away it looks a bit drab let me just see mm. just going to move these back this way no I do I think prefer them this way around um, let's try it here not really the right bit of newspaper is it which is a shame because of course I was just trying to just trying to use you know things that I actually had kind of torn out ready so it doesn't matter I'll just tear down another piece so and this is you know proper vintage newspaper so it's got that lovely coloration to it and yeah it looks really really nice so Right, might have to actually just cut this down so it can slot in a bit closer to that edge. Like that. Okay, and then if we have this here. And this one down here. And then just tuck this in here again. Just to see how that looks. Yeah, I mean, just that hint of blue looks quite pretty, doesn't it? So, yeah, I think I quite like that. So, let's glue that newspaper down. Oh, actually, would I prefer it this way around? That way, I can get it much, um, you know, much more text, whereas otherwise, I feel like it was quite plain. Let me just try this again. Okay. What do we think? What do we think to the texty? Yeah, I think it probably does look better with the text, doesn't it? So, yeah, let's do that. I mean, they're both sides of text, but it's just that the way I've torn it, one side shows more than the other, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, let's go with the side where it shows a little bit more. So, Okay. Right, let's pop that down. And oops, let me get my glue spreader. And just kind of spread that out a bit. Honestly, I mean, I know I'm saying this constantly at the moment, but I just love making folios. They just, oh, really, really, really love making them. And um, yeah, they seem to be kind of my favorite thing at the moment. Those and the collage, um, pages you know especially those cluttered cluttered collage pages I think are just really really fun like my favorite things to make at the moment right 
let me check that this is all going to fit because I do have to just be mindful that my folds are here so you know it's yeah important to keep that in mind do we like it with the blue or do we think actually it looks better without the blue this is again where I just wish that I could hear you guys because um you know what I'm thinking looks good you guys might be horrified and thinking what's she doing what is she doing why is she doing that you know I don't want to kind of make it look really awful and just too busy to look at but equally you know when I don't have the blue there I feel like perhaps it's a little bit too boring oh let's just go for it let's just have the blue you know, once it's down, it's just too late. I can't keep on chopping and changing my mind, can I? So, yeah, let's just just go for it. Right, now that needs to be... Because this is going to be quite close to that fold. So, I don't want too much blue showing. Just a tiny bit. You know, just a hint. A hint of blue. Like that. Okay. And, you know, I probably will link all of this up as well. So, you know, it's not going to look quite... As it looks once it's been inked everything will blend in that much more anyway so you know where this looks quite a bright blue once it's actually inked up it will kind of tone it down and um, you know won't be so kind of like ah, look at that blue it would be much more much more subtle is the plan right so yeah I think I quite like that um, I'm just going to before I actually commit to those you know those ready-made pieces I'm just going to kind of fill in this side now with some, you know, some background paper and what have you. So that hopefully, you know, I don't mind every kind of sort of side not being the same, if that makes sense. But I feel like if you open like here, I do feel like these should at least kind of complement each other, you know, because of course they feel like they're like a double page spread, I suppose, in a journal. So, yeah, let's kind of just get these looking, you know, so they're nice, looking nice together. Okay. Have a bit more of that blue, which we could use in here. Now, was I thinking this up here? And this one down here, I think. Have to go quite high, otherwise it's just not going to fit on you know, the two bits on the page. So, yeah, have to be quite high-ish. Now, I'm just wondering whether I can have a bit of that newspaper, actually. Let's just bring this one in. Oops. Okay. And then I could probably have this like that or something. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, so I'm going to just pop this one down. Whoops. Like that. So obviously I want this one very high, if that makes sense, because of course, you know, this, this piece is going to be high. So if I have it too low, you're just not going to see any blue at all. So it needs to go, yeah, higher rather than lower. Let me just glue that one down. Okie dokie. Right, so that's that. Then I'm just going to glue this newspaper piece on. Okay. Go right over there, kind of near the edge. Whoops. Okay. Don't think I've really got that on very straight, but never mind. Now I've got a crease in it. Oh, I hope it's not going to be another one of those days. I just seem to um, constantly have those days at the moment. Oh dear. Right. So then I thought I would have this little piece which again, I mean, this is just the back of some vintage postcard, but yeah, I just thought, waste not, want not, let's pop that in there. 
and then it's you know it's off my desk and it's being used somewhere so it's you know coming in coming in handy yep okay so I really like how this is all looking so let's glue this down now just wondering that um this one that envelope there wondering whether I want to um oh, what's the word you know have like a closure on it and if so I'm thinking what closure could I now have um yeah I'm not quite sure because I've put it obviously that way round it's not like I can have one of those twisty doobree things because it's not got enough room for that to to fit in there so I could have some twine um you know I mean twine is lovely isn't it I don't know whether that's going to bulk it out a lot so let me just let me just pull them in hang on right got this brown I love the brown twine it's just gorgeous isn't it I mean I would say blue but actually I think my blue is kind of a royal blue which well that's just very very nautical I find just not going to be quite right with our vintage style that we've got going on so let's just just see I mean the other thing is with twine actually it's not very bulky so you know that's quite a nice you know nice thing to kind of use so yeah let's go for the twine so I'm just going to glue that down here and again obviously the wet glue is fine it does hold it you're just going to have to wait a few moments while it you know dries in place but that's fine right so pop that up a bit Okay, let's move that out the way. So I'm just going to pop this pocket here down. Now I think probably I might want to have it as a pocket at the top. So I'm going to just glue it down. Right along here and then along this side. Like that. Excuse my head if it's in the way. I'm just trying to get it you know quite high okay so like that so you just take my wipe and mop up where the glue is oops seeping out oh it's seeping out all over the place look yep okay right we have a lot of glue coming out there so definitely definitely needed mopping up didn't it okay right let's just check the only thing is with these folios, it's quite hard to get pieces straight, I find, because they are very big. You know, I can't quite see the top without, um, you know, tipping it up, which you can't really do when you're obviously doing a video. So, yeah, I feel they're quite hard to get the pieces actually glued on. I'm just going to move this down fractionally. Okay. Yeah. So then we can have this one here. Now I'm just wondering whether I want to have some lace across here, you know, to reinforce that spine. Um, because obviously once I've stuck my pieces on, it might be quite hard to actually get to that. So I'm better off kind of putting things down if I want to, you know, now, rather than waiting until it's all, you know, got the bits on there and then I couldn't, you know, couldn't get to bits any longer. So I'm just having a look beside me and I've got that lovely blue oops which I coffee dyed oh gosh it's now stuck in the bag would you believe so right let me just pull this out so I've got oops this blue which like I say this has been coffee dyed I don't know again whether is that too much blue or do we think actually it's quite nice I think it's quite nice actually so yeah I'm going to go in there and I'm just going to glue that down with fabri -Tac. So take my fabri -Tac, whoops, which now, now I've just filled this up. So hopefully we're not going to have any problems with the fabri -Tac today. Obviously, you know, no guarantees are there, but we're doing the best we can. It's been topped up and everything. So we should be pretty good, pretty good to go. Oh, just trying to see which is the right way and the wrong way. Okay. Right, just going to kind of try and dab that into that fabric tack so it's really covered. 
Okay, right, let me go along that now with my wipe. Just to glue that in place. So, I mean, you know, that's really kind of there as a, um, well, I mean, it looks decorative anyway, but the main purpose is as the spine reinforcer or, you know, the, the crease, the crease reinforcer. But, I mean, as it happens, it does look very pretty too. So, it's got a double, double purpose, which is good. Okay. And then, obviously, I can then glue my pockets down. It was just that, really, once I've glued my pockets down, I mean, actually, this lace is quite narrow. But if it was a, a you know, wider lace, I might then not actually be able to get my pockets even on there. So, it's always worth kind of just thinking ahead and thinking, oh, am I going to want anything? you know, coming out of there. Now, talking of thinking ahead, just see whether I want to have any lace or anything coming out under that pocket. I think that looks pretty. So, yeah, let's put a little bit of glue down there and just pop this on. I love to have, um, you know, bits of lace and things just hanging out at random points. I think it looks really pretty. So, yeah, that's just kind of another little decorative point. And then this is one of my perfect pockets. I think this is from set four. So I just thought we would use this in here. Okay, and yeah, I'll have it moved over slightly. So just about there. And again, let me just mop up. And obviously I've used the fabric tack there because of course, you know, it went on to that fabric. Otherwise I would have just probably wet glue that one on as well so but yeah I mean you can mix and match your glue and use different glues for different things you know or just you know the glue that suits you best it's worth just playing around and finding the glue that you like the best to be honest okay right looking good okay so hopefully that's now sticking down this we're going to have over here. So again, I want it quite close to that um, fold. So I'm just going to tie this in a bow so that I know where, you know, how long to cut my baker's twine here. Oops. Oh gosh, now that's been tangled up. Oh dear. Okay, so we just then go across there and just tie that in. Okay, and oops, just just grabbed some ribbon there by mistake while I was, um, you know, pulling that in. Right, okay, let's just close that, put the twine away. So we want to have this one here, and this, yeah, we'll just have to move over slightly, so like that. So that looks really pretty, you know, a good, nice, pretty start to that. Um, again, just wondering whether I might want some lace there as, you know, a bit more of a you know, stability, stability for the fold. So, okay, let's just see. Yeah, I think we probably do. I mean, I'm just always a little bit terrified that things are going to <laughs> fall apart. So, you know, of course, the more things that you have, you know, reinforcing things, the less chance you've got of that actually happening. So, now this here is going to go like that but I'm thinking we're going to struggle probably to get anything in that pocket. Well, we are, but having said that, I do always say leave things as a pocket because then you've got options. So I'm still going to glue that down as a pocket, even though I feel it may be quite tricky to actually use it. So yeah, let's just go across there. Oops, and then down here. Again, I'm using the fabric tack because I'm obviously gluing it onto the lace, you know, this lace here. Oops, sorry if my head is in the um, way again. Just trying to kind of get it quite close to that fold. Okay, so it's close, but it's, you know, it's still foldable. It's still working. Because again, you know, I've had lots of, lots of um, you know, occurrences where I've glued it too close. And then, of course, it doesn't fold or doesn't open and things like that. I mean, we all have things like that happen, don't we? So... Yeah, it's just kind of be worth being a bit careful. Okay, right. Love how that looks. 
Now I just did notice that I've got just a little piece of bling there that needs a little bit of extra help there. So yeah, just, just glue that down. Right, okay, loving how that looks. So next thing I want to obviously reinforce here. Let me just move these ready-made bits out of the way. Reinforce here where I've got this crease. So again, I'm just going to take the same lace and we are just going to, again, glue that down just like we did on the other one. You know, it's just to make it stronger, basically, because you don't want to be worrying that, you know, after being folded in and out a couple of times that your piece is going to then no longer work, do you? You want to make, make things that are going to be you know, strong and sturdy and, um, you know, reasonably robust. I mean, ro as robust as paper can get. I mean, obviously, there's no getting away from this, that ultimately this is just made from paper. But, you know, you can kind of do things to to help it along its way, can't you? You know. Okay. Right. Okay. Dokey. So that looks good. Right. Let's just cut that lace down as well here okay looking good right and then we're going to have this obviously here so just making sure again that I can still get to everything here it can be moved over slightly which gives me then a little bit more wiggle room if I want to actually put anything in this using it as a pocket so I'm just going to just wet glue this down and then I'm probably going to put something underneath this, if you see what I mean. So it will probably have like a, um, you know, a pocket in there. So I'm just going to keep this like that so that I can see where exactly I can go to. So I can go to about here. Okay, so we're just going to then press that down to glue that down. Okay, and then I'm just going to open this up so that I can glue it down a little bit more precisely because obviously my glue was on like the envelope flap so yeah okay okie dokie right so looking good now any decorative touches that we might want on here so I'm kind of thinking we could have like maybe a bow or something so I've got weirdly actually there aren't that many of the blue bows um, I hadn't really noticed until now but they're mainly pinks and greens and browns but yeah there's one or two but not that many I'm just going to cut this one out. This might be going to be way too small. You know, it will just add nothing. It will just look so insignificant. It will add nothing, but might as well give it a try. Let's see. Okay, and okay. So I hope everyone's doing well and having a good day. Hope you're getting some crafting done. What are you all working on? Seen such lovely projects lately, honestly. And today I'm hoping to get onto the Facebook group. So again, I'm filming this ahead. So if anyone's a member of the Facebook group and it appears I haven't been on today, this was obviously a few weeks back. So um, yeah, I've set aside some time this afternoon. So fingers crossed, nothing's going to get in the way. And I'm going to go onto the Facebook group because I've really missed going on there. And um, yeah, I'm just dying to go on and see what you guys have all been up to because you come up with such amazing and, you know, such inspirational projects. So yeah, it's really nice to be able to go on and see what everybody's actually been, been up to. So this was just a scrap of paper that was laying around on the desk and I just thought, oh, I wonder if I could just incorporate this anywhere. Actually, it does look better over here for some reason. Um... Yeah, I might just have it here. The only thing is I was wondering whether to put a pocket there. So just before I glue that down, just gonna see what things I've got that would be blue, you know, that would be suitable as pockets. I mean, obviously I've got my labels. So I'm just going to ink this up a bit. 
Okay. Oh, that's quite pretty, isn't it? I hope you can see that. So yeah, I quite like how that looks, to be honest. So I'm just going to glue this in. So I'll just put that down there. And pop the label on. Again, I will put the label down as a pocket. I mean, I always say this, but you know, just put them down as pockets and then you have the choice whether to use them. I mean, obviously that's titchy. So, you know, it wouldn't really have anything very big in there, but it just allows you the option. If you've put it down as a pocket, you've got the choice. You know, if you don't put it down as a pocket, you haven't even got that, you know, choice available. So I always just think if you can, you know, put it down as a pocket, you've got kind of nothing, nothing to lose by doing that, have you? Okay, and we just pop that bow on there. Again, not pressing it overly hard, so it's kind of got a bit of a bit of a 3D thing going on there. So, oh, loving how this looks so much so far. Oops, that's obviously that flap. So, yeah, let's move this across now. Not sure how long I've been filming for. Uh, oh my goodness, what does it say on there? Oh, 36. Do you know, I thought it said 56, and I thought, oh my gosh. That's been like the quickest 56 minutes I've ever known. Because it didn't feel like 56 minutes at all. I mean, obviously it didn't because it wasn't. Um, but yeah, when I first glanced, I thought, what? 56 minutes? That's just flown by. Which, of course, when we're crafting, time does fly, doesn't it? <clears throat> well, I, I find it does. Right, so I'm just wondering whether I want to have anything else like on this side now. Again, you know, maybe like a label or something like that that could you know, be a potential pocket. Um, oh, I've just got this little frame, so let's just cut this out. This might be going to be too big. I've got this funny feeling it's too big, but let's give this a try. Okay. Yep, too big. I mean, it does kind of fit there, but actually it's now beginning to look like it's got four sections, so thinking actually no actually that's just not going to look very good so could have it over here to be honest um or I could have it on here actually shall I do that now I'm thinking should we collage up a little bit on here so still got some of that newspaper just laying around from what we've just used let's just tear that down quite nice isn't it and what else have I got what else what else oh we've got some of this these papers these are from my platform number two but I mean I just thought actually they're quite good on here because <laughs> just covered up her face um <laughs> they're quite good on here because they're quite neutral a lot of them I mean don't get me wrong there's a lot of purples and plum and things like that so I can't make out that they're neutral but there are neutral things in with them as well. Now I'm just wondering whether whether I want to go with anything as patterned or decorative as that lady or whether actually I'd prefer, you know, slightly less decorative elements than that really. So for instance here, I've got just this invoice piece. Let me just tear this down. Oh gosh, what a terrible job I am making of my tearing today. Okay, let's just cut this down now. Might as well cut it down because I've made a horrible job of tearing it, that's for sure. So I'm just wondering. Mm, not really big enough, is it? It, yeah, it was looking better with bigger, bigger things, I think. So, and I could just have it up there. That's not too bad. And actually, to be honest, I mean, I could, because this is going to be a pocket. And I'm just a bit worried, because this is just envelope thickness, you know, that it's actually not going to be very robust. So, I'm trying to kind of strengthen, really, the edge of it. So, let me just cut this down 
and then what I'll do is cut this in half because this has got like a natural kind of half and half thing going on so and actually I mean it even tears as if it's supposed to be two you know two halves so let's just pop that there and then just see if I have that lace running down there sorry sweetie I did, yeah. I couldn't not notice, could I? You've just walked right across, like <laughs> right in front of me. I know I'm oblivious, but my gosh, that's just that's just ridiculous. Honestly, I mean, my daughter just knows me so well. She knows <laughs> just how oblivious I am to things. Clearly, when she said, "Did I notice? Did I notice her walk right past me?" I mean, actually, stranger things have happened. I don't know really why I'm laughing because. Um, can you be interrupting darling because that's a bit rude isn't it so um yeah she kind of does know me too well doesn't she and knows that there is a fair possibility that i had not noticed her coming up right let's just try this right it might be better like that i'm thinking yeah okay Yeah, I think that looks better. So I'm just going to glue this um, newspaper down. Oh, look, that's so annoying, isn't it? Let me just see if I've got a better piece because as soon as I've turned that over, I'm thinking, oh, I much prefer it without that stuff going on. So let me see if I've got a piece more like this, but with the, you know, the line the other side. Whole title piece off. You okay, sweetie? Yeah. yeah? Oh, it's very warm up here, isn't it, today? And again, I know I say this all the time, filming ahead, so just in case you're looking out the window here in the UK and thinking, what is she talking about? It's hideous. It's really nice today. But yeah, it could be a few weeks before the video goes up and, you know, I mean, even a few days and to be honest, the weather could have changed completely, but definitely a few weeks. It definitely could, so. I always like to just put that disclaimer out there, you know, before I get kind of loads of people saying, what are you talking about? The weather's terrible here. Right, let's just glue this one down. Yes, it's very, 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 very warm. I'm going to have to open my Velux window um, before doing the next video. It's my first video of the day, and I always do like to try and do more than one, um, you know, in a day, if I possibly can. Obviously, sometimes it's not possible, but if I can, I do. And, um, yeah, so I will be doing another one hopefully in a minute unless of course something comes up and I can't so yeah I shall have to open the Velux window because it's so hot I'm going to just pass out if I don't open it feel like I'm a scratch record to be honest because um not only am I always giving that disclaimer but I'm constantly saying how hot it is that I'm going to pass out and um yeah it just feels like that's all I've said recently in videos so even I'm bored of hearing myself say it, honestly. Right, let's just ink around this. Oh, wow, that does look pretty. Okay. Yeah, they're like making snowflakes, aren't they? Okay. Right, let's move that out of the way. Okay, right, let's pop this down here. So I'm just going to glue this down like that. Okay, and spread that glue. I'm just going to pop this down here. Again, I'm going to make it a pocket. You know, with that whole view, you know, 
of use it or don't use it, but you've got the option. So it's now on there as a pocket, even though you know the chances are it might not even get used as a pocket. But you know, it doesn't do any harm. It's not, you know, it's not a problem. It doesn't look rubbish or anything by being stuck down as a pocket. You've just got that as an option, which is always good, isn't it? To have lots of options. Right. So I was going to stick this, um, oops, this blue lace down the edge. Uh, just before I do, kind of wondering, do I want anything down here along the bottom? So I've just got some ivory lace here. Don't think this is going to really look very good, but let's just see. Again, I would probably ink this up, you know, so it's got a bit more of a grungy kind of appearance. Just going to like cut, tear that, so it's not even. I don't know now. Well, let's just get this one stuck down on this edge. So again, let's just run the fabric tack down there. Oh, that's lovely to use that fabric tack since I've filled it up. The last few times I've used it, it obviously was needing filling up and it had been driving me crazy. So yeah, it's really nice to have it full now. Okay, and just snip that off here at the bottom. Yep, that looks really pretty. And yeah, I can't decide about this. Do you know, I kind of think perhaps leave it alone because, you know, I can always add that at a later point. Um, but for the moment, I'm going to leave it alone. So that's our whoops, first kind of... Um, I mean, it's not a double page spread, but you know what I mean? It's the first section of the folio using some of our ready-made pieces. And um, yeah, I mean, I just love how it's coming together so far. I'm just going to stand up and look down, hoping it's going to be looking nice looking down on it. Um, just looks so, so pretty, doesn't it? And really, oh, just, yeah, gorgeous. So I hope that you like how it's coming together so far. I will try and come along and do a couple more, um, you know, sections of it with you guys just to give you a few more sort of ideas and um, then I will probably do the rest in kind of slow time and then come back with the flip through but I really hope that you like you know how it's going so far I think it's you know a, a good start so um, yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon thanks then bye <laughs>